Uh, right, how do I feel living in Brexit Britain? I feel really let down by the government. I feel let down by a lot of people. Um, I feel decisions were made um, on ideas, not a proper manifesto. Um, basically, I feel that decisions were made think, with people thinking about immigration and not trade. Trade is a really important uh, parameter for this country. Um, I feel like we've been sold down the river and the future to me is looking quite bleak and I find that quite upsetting and quite depressing um, that we people haven't thought about the younger generation. Um, I would say if it's not broke, don't fix it and I feel that that's what people have decided to break something that was going actually okay. I was surprised uh, at the result. I knew it would be close but uh, I did vote to come out. Uh, this was based on many years ago I voted to go in to the EU, but it had changed totally from what I expected it to be. I can't see how anybody can look to the future to such an extent that people think they can. Uh, in my view, 28 countries is m too many uh, to actually um, work together uh, and uh, the big idea is, of course, for it to get bigger and bigger. And there'll just be too many countries in it. And I think we can uh, talk to other countries and negotiate all our own deals. OK, let's talk Brexit. Um, it's a very, very strange time at the moment. Um, I mean, we voted that year just over a week ago. And a very, very strange time. Um, are we really living in a divided country? I'm not 100% sure, but certainly ideologically we really are now a clearly defined divided country. You're either out of Europe or in Europe. And I've got to be honest, like a lot of people, I'm very, very fearful of what the future holds, particularly um, with this government and generally just British politics with the absolute mess it's in at the moment. And, um, you know, with the Labour Party turning on to Jeremy Cor Corbyn, which I think is just completely out of order. And, you know, just the Tory leadership party, I mean, it's like pick a poison of who, who we can have as the next leader. So I'm very, very concerned, you know, with internal politics in Britain. And I'm also very concerned about what the future will hold um, for the UK now we're out of Europe, particularly that now we, you know, we're not getting that kind of, well, in the two years, I think when we leave, not gonna get that cash injection uh, into the British economy and uh, British society that we've been relying on really. Um, you know, for, for decades. But I mean, you know, it's what people wanted, but I think a lot of people, you know, in my own personal opinion, who voted to, to leave the EU, some of them um, may actually regret it. And one of my deepest, deepest concerns isn't something that just offends me deeply, is the amount of report sharing of, you know, racist incidents, racist attacks, seem to be fueled by this Brexit thing, almost like it was like white, waving a white flag to people to just start racially abusing people and, and being completely ignorant, which I think is just disgusting. So, yeah, my, my, my thoughts live in Brexit Britain. Um, on the shop floor level, not much has changed, but I think we're in for a very rough ride ahead and I am very worried about what the future holds. Well, I think it's better than a soap opera, really, isn't it? Watching all these politicians fighting with each other like school children so in that way it's quite exciting but it's a bit scary because i'm not quite sure what's going to happen next and who's going to be in charge of the country who knows <laughs> thank you okay living in brexit britain um i think at the moment it's a very worrying place about what's going to happen for our future um i personally voted to remain and i'm very disappointed that we we voted out um I think we've been let down by all the political classes, um, Labour, Conservative and whoever else is out there. Um, I don't think we should have had a referendum in the first place. Um, I think we've, we've put, put, put the question out to a lot of people who are uneducated. I'm sure there are educated people on both sides of the debate, but at the end of the day, we you know, we elect politicians, 650 people who should be clued up on what they're talking about. And they've, you know, and I feel that they should sort the vote. I think it's a very strange world when the 500 or so of the elected people are against us coming out of Europe. And we've ended up being hijacked um, 
to come out as a father i'm worried about the future from you know for my daughter and i think it's been very unrepresentative for for young people when you look at when you look at all the information in newspapers, you see that 60, at least 60% of our young people voted to remain. Um, they won't benefit from the, the rights to travel that we've had, the rights to work around this world are taking away a lot of opportunities. And I think that's massively unfair for them. And I think the frightening part is that it's gonna give rise to right-wing poli um, politics and it's left me feeling very uncomfortable at this time. Well, nobody knows yet. It's only been two or three days since it was voted up and nobody knows nothing. So we've just got to wait and see. But I'm not interested in the economy or the immigration. I'm just interested in the sovereignty of this country because in three or four years' time, if we'd have remained in, we would have been in United Europe and Great Britain would have gone. And I'm positive on that thing. And I'm glad it's happened as it's happened. I wish David Cameron and George. George Osborne. Osborne had been different and things might have turned out different. We still might have been out and they might have been in charge. But I think they thought all the people were idiots and they turned out to be the biggest idiots. And I'm glad that it's turned out as it has. Okay, I after Brexit, my main um, worry is um, when when the election result came through, it made me feel as though there are our country is very much split into two parts. Um, one of them I view, um, and I hope the Remain campaign or individuals who voted Remain for this. Um, was that we could be part of a, uh, a country that was international, um, was fair to all, um, and also quite simply progressive in a, in, in a world which is becoming smaller. Uh, but instead I feel that viewpoint has lost to something quite negative, um, stuck in the past and um, Unfortunately, um, I think a lot of the population have thought about just themselves instead of um, a wider ideal. And that made me really sad. It made me feel as though um, there's a whole lot of negativity coming over positive stuff. Because my experience of being in EU has been mostly positive and um, particularly in terms of movement, it's always been a positive thing. And hearing um, a lot of the negative talk about that made me quite angry. And I, I would have hoped the Remain camp would have challenged that more. And I don't think they did. So I think in the, in the long run, I would say I'm actually worried. I'm worried about what this country will be and what we will um, show ourselves to be in, in front of the world, how the world will perceive us now. And to me, maybe we will be perceived more as uh, a little, a little England, you know, a, a country with closed borders and not being as friendly or as um, helpful as maybe we could be.